Hello and welcome to this lesson of uh, how to use VTiger. And uh, what we're going to cover is how to use VTiger in a uh, very basic fashion, like what are the uh, most basic elements of what you're going to be focusing on when you use VTiger. Here I am trying to log in. All right. Good. So you notice after you log in, you'll have uh, several things pop up. You've got a dashboard here. Um, it'll also show over on this side, over on the right side here, as I travel across the screen. It's going to show you upcoming activities, um, what your pending activities are. And uh, because I'm specifically in the system. I logged in as admin, so I'm actually over everybody. So I'll have view to uh, people's general activities and so forth. But uh, if you look up over here, you can also see that uh, it shows that I have 838 leads. I have five people on my calendar, two contacts, and one potential. That's just because the, that's actually showing up because I've actually demonstrated this to people. Um, all right, but now here what we're going to do is we're going to go over the basic things uh, as to how you're going to use VTiger. The main area that you're going to focus on is marketing. So put my mouse over it here, and you want to go to the section called campaigns right here. Once you're in campaigns, uh, you'll see that there's four different categories currently. Uh, the main separation is this. You've got privately entered new membership prospects and then privately entered new business prospects and I've set this up so that when you create somebody you can put them in here just as a way for you to divide them up for yourself now MLM new biz is people that we've actually put into the system that are our new business leads and then IDI leads are new membership leads that we've put into the system for you okay so you have these two basic categories uh, to uh, pull from if you want to, uh, if you're not generating leads of your own, you can actually grab them from here. So I'm going to show you what you would do if you are, let's say, looking to call for new membership leads. Click on IDI leads. And of course, these are ones that are not your own. Then after that, you go and click more information. You'll see here uh, the most important section is the lead section here. You'll notice it says leads. And it provides a list. Now, it's, there's 480 of these in the system. Uh, these are qu very qualified leads. These are people who have actually emailed into us or filled out forms on the net saying that they're very interested in getting legal assistance. And uh, the basic thing that you do when you, before you call them, is you click the record. For example, I'm just going to choose one at random here, Alan Bethany. Click it. and you can see the basic information here, and then after that you choose more information. Here you can see activity history is the first thing that you look at, and you'll see that uh, Johnny Ferretti put the person as a CB hold, which is a callback hold, meaning he set him for a callback at some point in the past, and that was last month on the 23rd. Uh, you'll also see up here that there's a to-do that to call the person back on the 17th. Uh, which is passed now, so that's going to need to be done. And so once you've reviewed that, you can go back over here to lead information. And what you do after that is you copy the phone number here, and you then paste it into uh, your dialing software. However you want to dial, you can dial, you can copy and paste that into VichDial, or you can copy and paste that into XLite. You simply press Control c and for example, I'm using a, a little program called Zoiper, and I copied it back over there, and now I'm going to paste it, and I pasted the wrong thing, so I'm going to try this again here. So copy, I'll pull up Zoiper again, and I paste it. That's why it's flashing. Uh, you see that phone number here? That I just pasted from over here. 
and then I can say dial right there, and it'll actually call the person right away. So there you go.